Hey everybody, it's Mark Ellert. Today, I want to talk to you about the difference between reacting and responding. Because this is something that has actually helped me a lot. I'm an emotional person. Mark is an emotional person. So that's why it's easy for me to react. When I react to something, that's the initial reaction. And I do that based on my emotions. And that can be unhealthy. It's not good to react based on your emotions. Because our emotions can be strong. We can have a bias towards certain things. We can feel offended. We can feel disrespected. And that's when Mark is getting upset. You know, it's, it's easy when you have that first initial reaction to want to react to that. But then, then basically you're going to have regrets later. Because I've done a lot of things reacting based on emotion. And it's gotten me in trouble. A lot of you know about my history. I'm someone who survived an attempted suicide in 2004. My suicide attempt was me reacting. It was all emotion-based. I didn't stop and try to think it through and be logical or use any sense of reason. It literally was just all emotion-based. That was me reacting to something. I reacted and I didn't think it through. I didn't stop and think it through. It happens a lot. When, when you react to something, you're thinking with emotions and you're going to do things that you regret. Trust me. I've done it before. I do it all the time still. Like I said, I'm an emotional person. When I catch myself reacting with emotions, it's like, wow, what did you do, Mark? Did you really say that? Did you, did you really, wow, I become disappointed and I have regrets. So everybody, I'm just trying to talk to you about it because it's good to be able to respond to situations and not react to them. The difference is, again, a reaction is the second you hear the, the news or something happens, you want to immediately react. That's all emotion-based. It's good to stop, take a breath, and think it through, and don't just react. Don't just let those emotions take control and do or say something you regret. Don't just react. Think about the scenario and choose how you want to respond. Responding is much more, you know, it's, it's responding is responsible. That's why we do it that way. There we go. I like that word correlation. Responding is responsible. Be an adult here, people. Use your logic. Use your mind and try to think it through. Don't react with your emotions. Because like another good example we all deal with people with customer service. Like, you know, when you buy a product and you think you got what you wanted and it's not working the right way, you need some help. It's easy for us to call someone and talk. The person helping us is not the person who sold us that particular thing. So they didn't give us the wrong information. If they're on the phone trying to help us through it and your, your product is still not doing what you want, it's not working. It's not the person on the phone's fault. Try not to lose your temper and freak out at them. Don't be yelling at them. Don't be, you know, giving them hell and everything. This is customer service. They're just trying to help you. They didn't sell you the product. It's not their fault the product isn't working. They're just trying to talk you through it and help you figure out what you want to. If you're coming across irate and inconsiderate and unfriendly, the person is not going to want to help you. It's inconsiderate and disrespectful to them, and they're not going to want to help you. So it's also, you're going to have regret talking to someone that way. You're going to have regret that you're not getting the help you want. So it's better to respond to things. It's good to be talking to her, call me on the phone, being like, this is what happened and explain the situation. Don't get angry with them. Just, you know, when they can or can't fix what they can, just take it with a grain of salt and appreciate what you can when you've got that person on the phone. Like another perfect example. Today, I was out in the store running around doing my things. The blind man, when he gets dropped off at the store, I need some help. I usually make my way to the service desk and ask for some help. A gentleman was helping me get around the store today. At one point, we were changing lanes. We were, we were going from one aisle to another, and he cut the corner kind of quick. I was following him. So when I cut the corner, bam, I actually hit, hit my right eye right here on the, on the corner of the wall. He felt really bad. But my thing is, I didn't cuss him out. I didn't give him a hard time. I didn't yell at him. like, dude, I'm following you. You're supposed to help me. I'm still appreciating the way that this gentleman is helping me get through the store. I couldn't do it on my own. So what, he accidentally ran me into something? He didn't do it on purpose. It's not right for me to react and flip out on him. And, and Mark's getting upset to go nuts. Put up your dukes, you know? I'm not trying to cause problems. I appreciate the gentleman in the store helping me. So I don't want to react. In fact, I just responded. I responded, hey, it's cool, man. You didn't do it intentionally. A lot of people don't have experience navigating with the visually impaired. It's all good. I, I just let it go because if I reacted, it wouldn't have helped me. If I reacted and flipped out at the dude, he might not want to help me anymore. He might just walk away. And it's not going to help the blind person when I'm just stuck in the middle of the store, stranded there with no one to help me. That's the situations I would regret. So everyone, it's good to be able to respond to situations. Don't react, respond. The two R's, you know what I'm saying? 
it's good to, to make sure, remember this, when you're in a, in a situation and you're getting upset, your blood pressure is raising, don't react to it. Think about how you want to respond. Try to try to keep your composure, keep it professional and real, my, my people, you know, because I'm an emotional person and it's fair for me to be able to have those emotions and validate them, but I don't want to have to sit with that emotion. I don't want to be an angry person and be resentful towards all the things that have happened to me in life because then I would just be a bitter, resentful person. People wouldn't want to be around me. People wouldn't want to help me. I wouldn't like myself. I wouldn't be happy being an irate, angry person who's just bitter. So everyone, take things with a grain of salt. Try not to sit with your emotions and sit with things too long. Try to learn how to respond and not react. And everybody, that's my Mark Talk today. I really hope you all doing awesome. We got some beautiful weather now. Enjoy yourself. Take care of yourself, everybody. Until next time, keep it sexy, make good choices. I'll catch you on the flip side.